So often I get asked, do I loosen my throttle stick to fly in manual mode? Well, yes, I do. Traditionally, I am a mode 2 pilot where the pitch and roll are on the right side and for the left side is your throttle and your throttle. I have it loose so that I can have better control and modulation of it um, without having that spring resistance. So now I'm going to guide you on how I will adjust the DJI controller to have that same settings. Okay, I know you're eyeing the bling that I got here, but I'm going to review these extendable sticks in a future episode. Okay, so what you're going to need for this um, modification is that you'll need a 1.5 mm Allen key or driver. Um, you're just going to need to open up the rear panel. For myself as being mode 2, I'm only adjusting the throttle stick, so it's going to be on the um, right, left panel, this side of the panel. Okay, so um, you could use a screwdriver or maybe just if you got a good pair of nails, okay, pull the panel apart. Okay, you really need to open all the all the connections. Um, but it stops here. Don't try to try open any wider than this. You're gonna tear the rubber. Okay, so you have two points, which is um, F1 and F2. You're gonna go for F2 first. All right, so just hold it down. Screw in all the way, um, which is gonna be clockwise, right? screw in all the way till um, you reach the maximum what that does is actually it will totally loosen any spring load of the sticks maximum you don't need to really have it tight just enough see now you can see that the left stick is fully loose the throttle stick is fully loose what i'm gonna make an adjustment now is i'm gonna tighten my f1 until the stick is able to hold in place at the base so i'm gonna tighten my f1 uh, this is the only way i know how to do it is keep tightening until you see that the stick doesn't move about okay tightening a bit oh that's the point that it bites so it doesn't move anymore so f1 is actually a resistance um more like uh, not say tension but friction of the left stick the throttle stick so i feel there is not enough yet let's get it a bit more bite okay half a turn okay stick stays in place if i were to tighten it all the way okay that's maximum i would have a lot of resistance um, to control the throttle maybe that will be um, your preference but um, for myself where I do trot a lot of throttle bleeping um, meaning from 100 to 0 100 to 0 um, for certain tricks um, this is gonna be a bit too much resistance for me so I'm gonna just loosen it up until um, I feel that the tension is enough okay somewhere here Okay, does it stay? Stays in place. Okay, that's about it. You're good. So in summary, you'll want to fully screw in F2 so that it will remove the spring tension and, and your sticks will now no longer be able to self-center. And then you will want to adjust F1 until you reach a point that the friction you feel in the stick movement is enough to hold it at the base or at the top. Um, at the same time, it's not too much that it's gonna be such a difficult task to get the throttle going up and down, alright? So, um, it depends on what you wanna do with it and how you wanna fly. Okay, so I guess that's just a simple guide of how to make that adjustment on your throttle stick. Um, for myself, I highly recommend you do this versus just leaving it um, able to self-center because um, especially in manual, you want that full control of your throttle um, versus if it self-centers, um, one is that if, you were, if it was really in the center, the throttle will be at 50% and that's kind of high for freestyle flight. So I recommend that you do this adjustment. Do people actually fly without making such an adjustment? Yes, I did try it at the start, but I did find that I had to really fight with the throttle a lot. So I had to make this adjustment and I guess uh, you could follow along and 
hopefully it is of use to you and makes you a better pilot and gives you a better um, smoother uh, journey into flying FPV so anyways I'm gonna wrap up this episode right here now if you've liked this video do give me a thumbs up now if you've not subscribed there'll be more FPV DJI FPV content coming up so do consider subscribing down below now if you want to chat with me do comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can and pilots as always I'll see you in the skies peace